HD with poison. HD on the Switch. Okay. Um, halfway towards the game when you can start traveling back, be extremely careful about going back to Besaid, the island that you're at right now, because when you do, you'll fight a dark version of an Aeon, which is going to wreck your shit until you beat the game. And even when you beat the game, it's probably still going to wreck your shit. So just be very careful when you're heading back to the island. There's going to be a couple of these places that you go to and you feel like people are following you. Do not let them interact or talk to you. Because if you do, you will fight an upgraded version of your summons that will rock your shit. It is terrifying. There's one of them where three of them are following you and you have to dodge three of them. But you have to go this way to get through the game. It fucking sucks. And it's only in the HD version because the US version initially didn't have it. Yeah, it is 100% stranger danger. If you feel like a NPC is following you, you run. Dodge it the best you can. There's one where... Let's see if I can... There's one... There's just a rough estimate drawing. Where you're coming down right here. And like two of them come out from this way. And one from this way. And you have to come this way. So you got to be super careful in dodging them. It fucking sucks. I'm not going to lie. But that's not until you get at least another like 10 hours into the game and you're around the third or fourth summon. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, this is... Uh, Sid's queen that stole his ship. She turned him into the Oglop, then he got turned into the frog. Kuja kidnapped her in the ship. She's calling him my sweet froggy woggy. That's kind of funny. But yeah, queen regent. Kuja didn't touch you, did he? His soul is filled with hate, but he was polite to her. Well, that's nice. Aw, true love. The frog and the princess. Or queen, I guess, in this point. And the queen's kiss brought him back to life. He immediately gets a kiss from her and is like, I'm going to go to work. What a pimp. Got a kiss as a frog. Was the HD uh, Final Fantasy X version pretty cheap on Switch? I have it on PS4, which I can upgrade to PS5 for free, I think. Which, that's probably what we'll play on. We're right now we're playing the Final Fantasy IX on the PS5. Uh, Like the girlfriend's thumb pads, too. Sailor Moon, motherfuckers. I know we talked about it not being some of our favorites. That's fine. And that's... We have bad taste. I'll let the girlfriend know that we just have very bad taste. Right, baby? See? She knows. Just make her feel better. Because she's right. I'm wrong. Don't save, actually...
$24.99 is not bad. I might get it on the Switch as well. But the only thing... Uh, I don't know. The only reason I would do that is for like achievements and shit, which I can't get on the Switch. Which is kind of annoying. Debating what? Because we're going to be playing two new games in the next uh, few months very quickly. Actually, probably next week for Tekken, I think. We're not going to be playing Tekken a lot. Just a quick playthrough through Tekken. Maybe when new characters come out here and there. Maybe a game to play with the, with the, with the viewers. With the peeps. With the people. I used to do Community Day Sundays. Kind of got away from that. Yeah, you never did my suggestion of Jackbox. Yeah, we didn't. But now that I have Steam, that might be a lot easier to do. Yeah. So yeah, Jackbox is back on the table, and I have the funds to be able to do it now. That was a that was also a part of it. So yeah, we'll do we'll do a Jackbox. Well, I we'll have to do it when I'm when I've got a not a new game to play. So Final Fantasy VII remake coming out at the end of February, and then Tekken here shortly, and then trying to finish this with our Digimon World Two exclusive YouTube series. And we just got done, to a degree, playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We still got stuff to do in that. But for the most part, we're done. Dex is done, all that fun stuff. I'm debating getting the other Final Fantasies as well as a ROM on the PC instead of buying them. You could find them extremely cheap on the consoles for the original versions if you wait for a special. Um, I think I bought... Because I buy them on every console. The only one I haven't bought them on right now is the Switch. But on the Xbox, I think I paid $7 per game, roughly, when I waited for a sale. And that's only seven, eight, nine, uh, And that's it. I bought 10 disc when that came out initially for PS4. And then 12 I bought digitally for like 20 bucks because I felt bad for my brother long story short he was playing it when i had it back in the day and i traded it in and i was like if you had at least like 10 hours 20 hours into this i wouldn't have traded it in and he had 50 and i didn't realize that and i felt bad so i traded in a game he was trying to beat it uh and i yeah i screwed up his opportunity so i bought it digitally when it came out even though it's not one of my favorites true final fantasy does end up having a lot of sales it's usually one of the highest selling games of the year Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, oh, fuck. What are they calling it? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is what they're calling the second one, I think. Um, that's going to be touted. That's probably going to win Game of the Year. I don't see anything going against it in 2024 that's going to compete. And for, like, nostalgia nerds like me, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The princess is missing, according to Steiner. Ba and he's actually working with Baku, which is kind of cool because him and Baku were butting heads just like he was with Zidane at the beginning. And he's like, you know what? Let's go out there. Let's help him find the princess. And Steiner's fucking giving him his gratitude. Steiner's grown a lot, I would say. He was a piece of shit at one point in time. All right. The Shimmering Isle is where we want to go. Maybe we had to get to this point of the story before we were able to finish the Chocobo quest line. Where's that? I uh, said an old castle located in the northern area of the Forgotten Canada continent. Another for record trip. Those were too steep to explore on that little known about Forgotten Continent. Ibsen's Castle, eh? All right, he's building us a ship now so we can fly around. 
if you, you may find a clue if you go to Ibsen's castle. I think we know where she is. It looks like everybody's looking for her right now. The fly came back. What? It's crawling on the floor right now next to the PS5. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Give me a napkin. Or, uh... can find dagger and nobody knows they're like yeah, i don't know where that chick is fucking fucking b tricks there we go now he's able to have a conversation with her. <sighs> Alright, we got a Garnet for Garnet. Ironic, right? And now she's talking again. She's saying she needs to be a queen, but she feels like she needs to come with us for a little bit longer. Luffy beat the crap out of Horty. Hey, you're watching that. I forgot about that. Did you... Uh, since you were talking about One Piece and since you've gone that far, did you get to the part? Well, obviously you did. But what do you think about Luffy just walking up and use Conqueror's Hockey on 50,000 people? Or 50,000 fishmen slash people? Well, because uh, the fishman on that, the first arc coming back, start kidnapping humans as they're coming to Fishman Island because it's the first stop you have to make going into the new land, uh, into the new world. And they were kidnapping humans, basically saying, if you don't fight for us, we will kill you. And you are in the ocean. There's nothing really else you can do. You're kind of stuck fighting. Yeah. How do you fight fishmen in the ocean when you can't breathe? Yeah, exactly. So, like, they all were stuck. And they're all weak. But they ended up caving in. So it was like 50,000 humans and 50,000 fishmen. And Luffy, with one look, just knocks them all out with Conqueror's Hockey. I accidentally had this video on fast forward still, but Dagger just cut her hair. Looking like a badass. New start for her. Let's go, Dagger. And we got a new ship, I think. We are flying. <laughs> he broke your heart, didn't he? How dare he? Don't jump to conclusions. Mixed feelings. First thought was amaze balls. Second thought was he just took out fifty thousand and using his hockey. Why couldn't he do it again and take out the other fifty thousand? See, that's a lot of people's argument. Like, why doesn't he just use Conqueror's hockey on most people or in most fighting situations? Um, it's kind of hard to argue. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to argue that. Yeah, we finally got Dagger back. Alright, let's rock. Steiner. Yeah. 
Oops. Alright, so I need to bring up... The, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. I want to fly... Over here. This has an auto flight feature. Sign me up, coach. And actually, this is the place I wanted to get to earlier that we couldn't get to because I had no flight. Let's go. Now it felt like it took forever, though. It did because I had to introduce everybody again, give everybody their new upgrades. They had to try... Like, they've been building up Fishman Island for so long, and then for them to get to it, they couldn't just let it end so unceremoniously, you know what I mean? Hey, we got Capricorn. Find some treasures. He's telling me I don't have good enough treasure rank. The black people said yes. This is Durango. Finally. Okay, I don't know what we do or don't have for sure, but, uh, okay, Topaz. We don't have any angel earrings. That's kind of surprising. We have one Garnet. That's fine. Battle boots we do not have. How many feather boots do I have? I love Zoro said to himself, he never loses again after his training, but he loses to Horty not long ago. I don't consider that a loss, though. He was crippled in the water, but yeah, no, I get your point. Let's do that. Let's do that. I have a Pearl Rouge. Can I win it? I have Gladius, right? Mithril Fork. How many of those do I have? Let me just... Ah, this is the combination fun. Oh, I have two. Cool. Yeah, no, we're good. White Robe, we're good. If Lucy goes all out, you think Zoro would even stand a slight chance of winning? I do. Uh, but at the same time, it just really depends on the circumstance. There's a part later on where, well, he did it on Water 7 as well, but there's a part later on where he comes across um, a situation where he tells Luffy, basically, act like a fucking captain or I'm going to fucking kill you, essentially. Don't play around because I'm going to fucking kill you. like this is serious and you need to act like it's serious Whisker. 
serious Luffy versus Whitebeard who wins. Is it Luffy now with peak Whitebeard, or is it Luffy when he came across Whitebeard? Because if it's Luffy when he came across Whitebeard, there's no way he wins. If it's Luffy now versus Whitebeard, I kind of want to still say there's no way he wins, just because Whitebeard... Um... Mm, yeah, Whitebeard. <sighs> I guess he has the experience. That's how I'm going to phrase that or look at that. All right, we'll leave that for now. We'll come back to you. didn't need to, but hey, might as well. Alright, we gotta help this dude real quick. The lift's broken to his shop. He's losing all his business to the Sith shop. So he's basically begging for us. Let's go with the right, the middle, the left, the left. Middle, middle. Damn, Stefan, it's not that complicated. But apparently it is. Uh, Zoro versus Sanji. Zoro. Sanji's just chivalrous. It doesn't save you. shit working dude so I know I need two of those orange shapes just the combination damn so much shit here that we don't have enough money for. God damn. I don't know who, how to feel about Brooks. There's time where he's a total beast out there and there's times where he just feels weak. I don't think he's meant to be that kind of character though. So I get your point, but I don't think he's meant to be like that, you know. I like him a lot better later uh, when he realizes his powers are more soul based, if that makes sense. OK. 
Can I get... Can I switch party members in here? Get your ass in there. There we go, that's where I changed my party members. Uh, switch out you two. I feel like a lot of Devil Fruit characters don't necessarily use their powers to the fullest capability. That is a fact. But then you also have a lot of Devil Fruit users that use their abilities like dumbasses or just like it doesn't make sense how they use their powers. And then there's others where you're like, I never would have thought about it like that. I never would have used it like that. I'm going to save real quick. I'm going to stand up, stretch a little bit, and then we're going to get inside this marsh, and we're going to search for some frogs. I know, super exciting, but we need to do it. Side quest. Right. Side quest. Frog hunting. Not the most exciting thing in the world, I am aware. Yes, you can catch some frogs, homie. We'll have you hit up all three frog spots for now. Keep it. Keep it. Don't be don't catch all male or females. I'd be that's just right, sexist. That's three females. Ooh, wait. In the HD, does the color of the frog represent the sex? Are these two on the right pure green males and this black a striped one a female? Is that how that works? Or vice versa? You know what I mean? Like, you weren't able to tell. Okay, that's a male. I'm going to keep it. Anticipating. We're going to leave these anyways. I'm not capturing them. But I want to see if my theory is correct. Female. The baby frog doesn't count, does it? It does. So this is a female, right? Yeah, let it go. We want the male. Or we want the other one so I can test this theory. This game theory. <laughs> See what I did there? Holy shit, it is! Holy shit! Oh my god, you can actually distinguish between the male and the female ones without having to catch them all. Dude, that is legit. You have no idea how much time that actually saves. You couldn't do that on the original. You couldn't tell. This is the HD uh, port to the PS4, but playing it on the PS5. Alright, Aoife Tree... Monday Pete, Falsaru, Black Mage Village. This is what we want. Q's Marsh. Do do do. Let's speed this up.
Alright. We are frog hunting. We need to actually capture 99 of these frogs. That's why we're coming back to do this periodically. Uh, just to get Quinna's ultimate weapon. And it's actually the hardest fight in the game. God, there's like no progression on these frogs. Are you kidding me? Sure, yeah, that's fine. There's only three we could even catch anyways. Yep, male, female. You know what? We're actually... No, we're going to capture them. Tricksy fucking frogs. Might as well get the baby frogs. <laughs> I, I kinda heard part she of it. Oh, really? Yeah. They buckled her in and everything? I heard yeah. that. Yeah. Right, 45. Like, I'm going to end up pregnant and a slave here in your place. Jesus. <laughs> My wrist is stiff all of a sudden. I, uh... Where is our she up? Not a thing, my son. This is a message to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Say, don't worry. About a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Oh, that was an accident. Oh well, just fly to it. Use goddamn marsh. I want this frog. Now leave. We go grind? That's what I'm kind of debating right now. Oh. 
drop a save here right now. Did you bring up Abram? Is this the Thunder Dragon? Shitty experience, though. This is not where I thought it was. Alright. I gotta at least test this out again. Now that we've advanced the story, maybe we can get the chocobo I'm looking for. I know, Jedi mind tricks. This is not the chocobo you are looking for. But it is. But it is. I just want the last graph, bro. Come on, bro. Do oh, wait. Do I have to find them all before I'm able to? Is that the tricksy thing? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm in cooldown mode. I can't bless you anymore. Hashtag blessed. I didn't bless you, I just said hashtag blessed. I didn't invite Johnny back too much. Where are you? Come to daddy. We haven't seen Sarah in a while. I love how Wahoo just throws a ball at his enemy. Right? Like, that's a solution. Actually, I know what we need to do, I feel like, actually. Hey, another Q's Marsh I've been... Have I been here? Oh, this is the first season where they started integrating other shows in, other than real world real rules. What shows? He said, are you the one? Ugh. Alright, another Q's Marsh, here we go.
Alright, female right there, male right there, and another female. So what one of the females and one of the male. Nope. Oh, 54. Now we're out. Get Quinn out of here and switch our party again. Which X is it for Wes? No, it's rookies versus uh, veterans. I swear you just said Battle of Axes. Did he just say she had no gag yeah, reflex? That's exactly what he said. What the fuck is this? And then fucking he ghosted her apparently. Is this a quiz? What the fuck is going on? Pop quiz, that's exactly what it is. Question number one. Want to be your canary was written by Lord Afon. one question Did not expect that. Alright, Forgotten Plains is the closest thing to us. Chocobo Lagoon too. Oh, we're doing that. We're definitely doing. We're doing both these, and then we're doing that. Dustin's here. He must not have been his last season then, or who knows what season ends up being his last season. All right, we're looking for a crack in the mountain around here.
Where is this motherfucker? Oh, here we go. Eye drops, maiden's ring, Genji helmet, Hilda Garde one card, hell to the motherfucking yeah. She's always with fucking Knight, man. Yeah, because she just gets stuck with him forever. She needs to hook up with somebody else so she can get away from Knight. I just feel bad for her. I know. Did you hear what she said? Why did I not hook up with somebody else? I Okay, come on. Where is this? Trying to crack. It's somewhere around here. Where the fuck can I find it? He said, hooray, interracial couple. Who said that? This guy. The newbie. Alright, this is starting to piss me off. IGN, I shined you earlier. I'm not gonna shine you anymore. Okay, where are you? It is on a second ledge. You can see the difference in DMs when she's healthy and when she's not. Because she looked rough that rival season and now she looks great. Mm. Why the fuck can't I find this? the one we already found, right?
I'm like, why can't I see a zoomed in view of this goddamn photo? I hate you. Fuck, man. This has got to be it. There's nothing else. It doesn't even look like a fucking crack. Watch, it's going to do. I questioned it this whole fucking time and it was exactly where I thought it fucking was. I hate myself. I fucking hate myself. <sighs> okay, dust planes. It's got to be... up here where are you over here though I'm guessing somewhere on the mountain range oh right there good guess Stefan All right, that is every single, ooh, nice. It is every single chocograph that we could find right now. So maybe we can now find what we need. Oh wait, I can't summon the chocobo to this island because there's no tracks here, huh? Yep, there's no chocobo tracks, damn it. Today's whole mission has been one thing and we haven't been able to do it. Where are the tracks? All right, come on. We've accomplished everything we can with the chocobo up until this point. There's nothing else we can do until we find this stupid-ass graph.
I'm surprised they brought Knight back. Why? After slapping, uh, who was it on stage? Johnny? Yeah, I remember on the reunion show. Oh. Was it Knight that slapped him? Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and shut that off, please. I forgot about that. This is the first time we've seen Knight since then. What? Hey. And DM, actually. Well, all the other dudes get in fights and they don't... CT had a temporary ban, but they brought him back. That's true. Brock and fucking Adam and Brad. That's... No, it wasn't him. Brad and, uh... Darrell. Yeah, Darrell got into that fight. Yeah. I don't think Darrell's been. Uh, we he just didn't come back. We just haven't seen him since. Same yeah, with Brad. I, when I looked up the... Well, Brad won that one. So I don't think he... I think he was done after that. Oh, that's right. Come on. We can find this goddamn fucking graph, dude. 